Hello and welcome back to a, another video. So as the title of this video says today, we're going to be going over some of the common bugs found on 5M as well as how to fix them. And of course, how to use Epic Games with your 5M. So recently I've been getting quite a lot of uh, comments, let's just say about Epic Games or messages about Epic Games. If people are able to use the Epic Games launcher with the 5M platform and you are, but it is a little finished sometimes so let's go into that real quick but before we do there are going to be a couple bugs we are talking about in this video and if you want to see the different chapters for the different bugs we talk about you can either hover over the timeline of this video or go into the description at the bottom as always the timestamps should be there if you do want to check out each individual bug we go through in this video so let's start off again with how to use Epic Games Launcher or the Epic Games platform with 5M. So normally when you launch 5M, it will of course take your Steam game and just launch it normally, but sometimes that may not work if you only have it on Epic Games. And there is a couple ways to fix this. So first of all, the most simple way is just having Steam, making sure Steam is open and then just having it minimized as you launch 5M. And most of the time that will just work normally just as if you have Steam open anyways, but sometimes it will not and if it is really not working there are a couple workarounds uh i found this one to be the most successful again i did a lot of research on different fixes for this and this one seemed to be the most successful one so if we go over onto steam and we go over to our library and then go out to the top left here where you can see the different steam view friends games and help tabs you're going to want to click on the games tab and then at the bottom of this drop down you're going to click add a non-steam game to my my library so you're going to click on that and it should bring up this and from here what you're going to want to do is hit browse and it should bring up your file explorer so let's click on our c drive where ours would be boom and then more from here we're going to want to go into program files not program files times 86 just regular program files click on that and then scroll down until you can find epic games launcher or just epic games you're going to want to double click on that and then you should see all of your currently downloaded epic games games here we're going to go into gta 5 eg store you want to keep going keep going into bps install and then from here you should be able to find play gta 5.exe no yours might have a couple extra files because mine is not fully downloaded i only started the download to be able to show you guys how to do this in this video so next you're going to want to just click on play gta 5.exe hit open and then you're going to do add selected programs and what this should do is add play gta 5 over in here to your steam library and then when you launch 5m 5m should automatically detect this and hopefully that should be your fix now i do know there are a lot of reasons why epic games may not work with your 5m this although seemed to be the best fix that i could find for it although if this does not help you please comment in the section below what your problem is and i will try my best to help each and every one of you but this was the main fix i saw for this issue if you just have gta 5 on epic games and you do not have it on steam and 5m is giving you some problems with it this is the number one fix i saw so hopefully this helps you out again if it does not make sure to make a comment below and i'll try and answer your questions or at least give you some help next although we're going to be moving on to how to actually clear your cache because this is a big issue i see with a lot of people on a lot of servers sometimes buildings won't load in um certain mlos won't be loading in or a server pushes an update out and then everything kind of breaks for the player and a good way to uh, or a good first step for any of this when you're starting to have a lot of problems with 5m what i recommend doing is clearing your cache and what this does is basically deletes all of the downloaded files so when you rejoin a server it will re-download them all fresh and new and we'll hopefully fix any of these small bugs that you may encounter on different servers after they push out updates so to clear our cache we're going to want to hit our of course windows key to bring up our start menu and what we're going to do is type in percent and then app data one word and then percent and then once we're done with that all you have to do is hit enter and it should bring up this of course and what you're going to want to do is go back into app data because it will bring you to the roaming section so you're going to go back one step into the app data folder from here you're going to go into your local folder 
from here you're going to want to scroll down until you're able to find the 5m folder and then of course double click on that from here you're going to have of course these four files and what you're going to do is just double click on the 5m application data and it should open up your main 5m directory so let's double click on that and boom here we go this is where all of our stuff is for 5m so to clear your cache what you're going to do is go into data and then from here everything here you're just going to want to delete except for game storage you do not want to delete the game storage folder but delete your cache delete the nui storage delete server cache and server cache priv and then you should be able to relaunch your 5m join a server and it will download all of the files for that server as new and that is of course how to clear your cache with 5m now the next one we're going to be talking about or the next two we're going to be talking about is going to be texture loss on 5m as well as rendering issues in 5m but for that we're gonna need a hop in game so let's hop on the just rp server and i'll show you some of these fixes all righty now that we are in game we're going to look at a couple more issues and of course how to fix them so the first one is going to be of course texture loss with 5m so if you have kind of a rough run pc and you're driving around and you keep falling through either the ground or the roads aren't loading certain buildings aren't loading uh there's a couple ways to fix it now first of all again 5m does take up a lot of resources so if you have a lower end pc some of these issues will unfortunately be very hard to solve without changing all of your settings too low but if you have a pretty decent pc and these problems are still happening to you you're still falling through the ground textures aren't loading uh the roads aren't loading sometimes what you're going to do is go into your settings on gta go over to graphics from here you're going to want to scroll down and what really matters is these first four settings uh, you want to have all of these on normal if you are getting these problems now of course if you have a higher end pc you can have these on high with no problems but if you do have a lower end pc and you have these on high you are going to get that texture loss bug so hopefully again putting these all on normal restarting your game should fix that for you and to go on with this next we're also going to be talking about rendering issues so while you're driving around everything might be normal as you join the game first off but after a while you may notice certain things not loading in you might notice stuff in the distance kind of unloading itself and this can be caused by having your extended streaming budget on a low amount so right now if we go again back into settings over into graphics and scroll down you're going to want to have your extended texture budget all the way up to the max if you do not have it after a while your game will kind of fill up in a sense and you will start to get these rendering issues so make sure that your extended texture budget is all the way up uh, and that is going to be pretty much it for how to fix a lot of the problems with 5m and before we end this video off there is one last thing i want to say that will really help with a lot of the performance with gta 5 and 5m and in general so what you're going to, want to do is open up the task manager so let's go grab that real quick so let's bring our task manager over here and what you're going to, want to do is go over to the details tab and then scroll down until you find 5m and then gta process at the end of it from here what you want to do is just right click go to set priority and then change this to high this should hopefully help as well for using your more of your computer's resources if it is not using them correctly and again you are getting texture or rendering issues with 5m so we're going to hit change priority and that should also help out quite a bit uh, it will up the memory that 5m does use but if you have a decent amount of ram it should be able to handle it and then you're going to be getting a lot better performance in general and i definitely recommend doing this if you have the pc that is able to handle it my game definitely feels a lot more smooth but i think that's gonna be about it for this video this was definitely a little bit of a shorter video than my usual ones but i wanted to make this because i've seen a lot of people asking again how to use the epic games launcher with 5m and this will hopefully tell you how if it is not working automatically but i think that is going to be about it if you guys did again enjoy or this did help you out with figuring out any problems or bugs that you may have make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video